everyone, this is Dr. King. Um, this is Dr. Alexander, another orthodontist from San Diego. We're going to perform um, the quarter puncher for him this time, okay? So I first numb his palate already with Indo eyes and local anesthetic, all right? So we're going to do the first one. Let me know if you feel anything. If you still feel discomfort, let me know right away, okay? okay? <clears throat> the drill bit we use is from um, RMO. It's a special order from Korea. And I talked to my sales rep, Nancy, and she's the one to order for us. And I'm going to use the hand piece. Okay, hand piece is a propel hand piece. You can use, also use the orthognia hand piece from RMO. It's the same thing. It's just a little slower speed. Okay, let me try a little first. I'm going to go to Now, the drill bit itself is probably about, so I'd say, six to seven millimeter. So, you, as long as you sink the whole drill bit in there, then you're great. Okay, overdoing it is fine. Okay, we're going to do it from the back first. All right. Okay, let's see. I went in. I don't even do the return, the reverse turn. You don't have to. So I went in ready. His suture doesn't feel that tight, which is a great thing. Okay, I do it from behind and also on the front. Okay, now usually I perform this procedure before I put in the MSC. In this situation, it's different. His MSC is done somewhere else, and the expansion is not as expected, so we're gonna retroactively doing the, um, the quarter puncher. Now we've got three holes so far. How's that feel? Mm. No pain? Mm -mm. Oh, excellent. So we still follow the midline, go to the front, okay? They have very high palate, so slight difficult. Now once you, when this hand piece goes in, you will feel the penetration of bitor bicortically. Mm. So it will win, it will win initially, it's gonna be a little bit difficult and then become easy. Mm. That's when you pull out the hand piece. So we did five so far, mm -hmm. number six. Number seven. Number eight. Usually once I fill in the, the drill bit starts sinking in, that's when I stop. No. Like sometimes I explain to patient, you will have a little bit minor bleeding, mm -hmm. but the bleeding should stop as soon as the lead office. So bleeding stop pretty easily. Okay. Now we don't want to do too close to the uh, nasal palping for Raymond, so we'll keep mm -hmm. it a little bit. And you also see the angle of my my hand piece. I don't do it this way because you might have a chance to going too close to it. Just finished the cordopuncture procedure. Now a lot of people have questions about how to perform cordopuncture and also what's the gynoid. Now personally, I do not like to use TAD to do cordopuncture because the danger of dropping the TADs in patient's throat. At the same time, TAD gets pretty dull. So I prefer to use hand teas with a drill bit to perform the cordopuncture. Now about the guideline in my office, for male over 20 years old and female over 40 years old, I routinely do quarter puncture to, um, to increase the success with the MSC. Okay? Well, thank you for watching.